This year's government work report has shed light on China's efforts to stabilize economic development amid COVID-19 headwinds. We now hear from Dr. Harley Sayedin, the president of the American Chamber of Commerce in South China, to find out his views on China's economic growth prospects. Though China posted negative economic growth in the first quarter and set no specific economic growth target for 2020 due to the COVID-19 outbreak, foreign business people remain optimistic about China's economic development. The COVID-19 is not just changing uh, the way we think, it's changing the way we meet, it's changing the way we produce new jobs. We are dealing with something that's going to change uh, the society and the way we work for many, many years. To try to predict uh, or set a goal for growth, uh, it would be not really productive at this point because we're going to find that. Economy will recover. It will recover simply because people want to get back to work. Uh, how do we create those jobs is, is a priority as opposed to creating GDP or worrying about the growth rate of the GDP itself. The GDP will grow simply because people will want to give their children a better life. They will go back to work, they will create businesses, they will work. Growth rate may not be what we expected in the next three months, but certainly it will accelerate the following three months and it will continue to accelerate beyond that. China is facing uncertainties and challenges in terms of economic development and reform. However, China will work to ensure achieving the development goals of winning the battle against poverty and completing the building of a moderately prosperous society in all respects this year. Hua Lisha, GDTV World.